idea is that to get mechanical engineering students from around the world to design, fabricate, uh, go everything that goes with it, and then get to compete against each other to see who did a better job. So the competition gets judged on the design, like what did they design? Can they justify their designs? How, how much effort did they put in? Did they do their own work? So after they design the parts, who made the parts? Well, they have to make the parts, that's how they learn. And then they have to assemble it. And then they actually have to see if it works, right? So the, the, the idea is that they get to go from nothing to something in a very short time frame, and then see how they do against other universities. And the competition is judged, automobile companies, they come down to judge it, mm -hmm. and really it's kind of an interview if they win. Most companies that hire engineers, mechanical engineers, understand the added value that SAE students have. So they know by the time I hire this individual, I don't have to spend a year in training him on, on remedial things that he should already be aware of. We started with the fundamentals, learning, having to review material science and other engineering fundamentals before building the car. And then we dove into books such as Tune to Win and Prepare to Win that kind of give you the idea on how a car works, how to make it fast and started there at the fundamentals. And then some of our team came up with ideas of if we simulate our engine next to the driver or behind the driver, how does that change the dynamic characteristics? And so the, the design came out from those aspects. So that's why this competition has so much value. And last year, the team from A&M won it, right? Yes, sir. Won last year, we, we won first place and, and a couple of other records. We broke a couple of, of records. So they trained them on why did you build this? How did you engineer this? Why did you engineer it this way? And then how does this thing run? How right? does it run?